working on the veneer repairs now. Uh, there's a lot of veneer repair to do over the entire chest. So I'm just going to highlight a couple of areas here. There's one area in the upper left part of the chest here. Now I'm going to cut a patch. I've got a piece of crotch grain mahogany here. I'm going to cut a piece out of the middle of it. Okay, after refining the edge, I'm going to get it uh, glued in place. I'm going to be using hide glue. Now I'm going to wet the surface to keep the veneer from curling. I'm going to use the veneer hammer to press it into place. And then clamp it overnight. Now I took the block off the next morning and the edge curled up just a little bit so I'm going to take the hot iron and just press it down. It'll reheat the glue and just press the veneer into place. Now trim off the excess. and file the edge. Now I'm going to trim off the excess along the rail. Then glue the edge band into place. Now in this one area there was a lot of chips in the edge banding right here so it's better just to take the about a six inch section out and replace it. Now I'm going to do some repairs on the drawers. A couple of drawers had a big chip out of the corner. So I've got a piece uh, ready to patch in the corner here. I'm just going to mark where to cut. Make the cut with the veneer saw. And chisel out the damaged area. Then a light sanding. Now I'll go over the belt sander, just clean up the edge so I get a nice joint. Now just cut off the excess on the end. And then glue it into place. Okay, now on the bottom of the chest, uh, there's these little brackets. 
their tongue and groove and they fit into this uh, little tongue right here and they're all the way around the uh, chest and a couple of them are uh, broken and need to be replaced so what I did was I took part of the uh, original panel from the side it's got the mahogany veneer and uh, made it a little bit thicker uh, added a piece of pine on the back and planed it down to seven eighths of an inch now I'm going to make uh, two new brackets to match the original and I put a tongue on one end and it's just a matter of tracing that out I'm going to go cut that on the bandsaw. Alright, after cutting that out on the bandsaw, I'm just going to refine it with the file. I'm going to do a quick test fit. Then glue it into place. Then I added some glue blocks on the back side. The uh, veneer repair is done. Got everything smoothed out. Uh, this corner right here, I actually filled in the whole corner instead of trying to uh, mold a piece of veneer around this corner. There was a big chip right in this corner. So it was easier to uh, cut a patch in and then sand that smooth and then there's a patch of veneer right here other little spots in the bottom here and the rest of the repairs on the rest of the chest are done now I'm at the point where I can do this uh, molding around the panels uh, on the other side of the chest um, I put the new panel in and on both sides I'm going to uh, put a molding around the edge here just a little beaded molding Okay, for this I uh, grabbed a piece of cherry out of the scrap bin. Uh, same color as the mahogany and the molding is so small that you won't be able to tell the difference. And I'm going to use an 8 inch beading plane and make a bead on both edges. And there's the bead on both edges. Now over to the table saw. I'm going to rip that to 5 16 of an inch. Now I'm going to rip the bead off the edge of the piece. And I get two moldings out of each piece. Now to make the miters, I set up this little jig on the belt sander. It's 45 degrees. Now making miter cuts on these small moldings can be difficult, but this makes it very easy. I just uh, push the molding into the belt and it makes a nice 45 degree angle. Now I'm going to go over and uh, mark the length and the direction of the miter. And I'm going to cut it a little bit long on the bandsaw and then go back to the belt sander and make the miter. Might have to test fit it a couple times, but then it fits nicely. Now to install the molding, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back side. I'm 
and use some small brads to hold it in place. Looks really nice. And I've got the whole chest sanded to 100 grit. Just did a light pass with 100 to uh, clean up the surface. Now the next thing is to get the top reattached. And it was originally uh, glued down with hide glue and a whole bunch of glue blocks around the inside. And then later on, uh, someone put nails in. So I filled the nail holes. But now I'm going to uh, switch and uh, attach it a different way. I'm going to screw it from the underside uh, the way it really should be attached. So I have to drill some screw holes and put some screws from underneath coming up into the top. Okay, I picked some screws out that I had. Now I'm going to uh, roughly line up where I want the screw to come out and just make a mark. Then by eye, just kind of drill down towards that line. And then carve a screw pocket in the back. and test fit the screw. Now on the front, gonna drill down at an angle as well. Then drill a countersink from the underside of the rail. Now there's a rail going across the chest. I'm gonna put a screw up through that to screw down the middle of the top. Now I'm going to line up the top. Clamp it in place. And mark the screw holes from underneath with a long skinny screwdriver. Take the top off and pre-drill the holes. Put the top back on, clamp it in place, and install all the screws. All right, the top's on nice and solid now. Now I can go ahead and do all my final sanding. Okay, we're down in the finishing room now. I've got all the drawers back in and I've put two coats of shellac on. I wanted to get a look at the whole chest and see what kind of color matching I need to do. And you can see there's quite a few different colors going on here. Uh, the new panel on this side. And the columns on the edge are quite dark. And the rails are quite light. And of course all the little patches to touch up. Now the panel on the left side has kind of a greenish cast to it. Plus I've got to touch up the moldings. So I'm going to start doing the touch ups. Alright, I masked off around the edge of the moldings. And I'm going to start touching those up. They need to be darkened up to match the rest of the chest. It'll take a few passes to darken them up. Now, as I said before, that panel on the left side had a little bit of a greenish cast to it. So I've mixed up a little bit of red mahogany dye. I'm just going to put one coat 
of the red mahogany die on that panel. And also doing all the patches, touching those up. Okay, I've got uh, four coats of shellac on and I've got all the touch-ups done. Uh, this right-hand panel, I just darkened that up just slightly. Of course, got all the moldings touched up to match the rails. And of course, that new strip at the bottom, and that bottom rail where I repaired it. And you got all the patches touched up and the rails uh, darkened up just a little bit. Now on the left side, I just uh, put a little bit of red dye on that panel. Now there's still quite a bit of uh, color variation between some of the veneers, but that's fine. That's just natural. That's the natural color. I'm just going to leave that alone. Now the next step is to uh, go over it with uh, 320 gold sandpaper. and then put two more coats of shellac on. After the final two coats of shellac, another rub down with the sandpaper, then the maroon pad, and some 4-0 steel wool. Now after rubbing down the shellac, I'm going to get the dust off and use my dark mahogany wax with some 4-0 steel wool. Then buff it down with the towel. Now I'm going to put the red mahogany wax on the drawer sides. It'll darken up the wood and make it slide in and out nicely. Okay, uh, this is all done. Uh, this came out absolutely stunning. As you recall, it came in, uh, it was all falling apart. Um, I had to completely disassemble it, strip it, um, do quite a bit of repairs. So this ended up taking about two months to do. Uh, the customer said there was no rush. Um, I had to formulate a plan to repair that side panel and then order some wood on eBay. That took a little bit of time. And then there's just a lot of drying time and uh, assembly time and things like that. So this ended up taking about two months and I figured somewhere around uh, 15 to 20 hours. Okay, one thing I did not show earlier, um, I did make one big mistake uh, when I uh, was working on this. Uh, during the assembly process, when I was putting the whole thing together, um, I glued the whole thing together, clamped it together, and I thought it would be square. I just kind of assumed it would be square just by clamping it together, uh, but that was incorrect. And realized um, after it dried and I uh, tried to fit the drawers into the openings, uh, I realized that the uh, whole frame was uh, badly out of square. So I had to come up with a plan to uh, straighten it out. And since I used hide glue for the joints, uh, I was able to heat the joints up, uh, use a little bit of hot water as well, get the glue just a little bit softened up, and put some clamps across the corners, and get it uh, pulled back into square. And uh, of course clamp that overnight, let that set up good, and it, after that it held its uh, square, and then was able to uh, fit the drawers okay. Now on the top drawers, I uh, put these brass handles back on. Uh, they're not original. Uh, they were added at a later time, and a uh, customer decided to leave those on. Um, I told them there would be a ghost image of the handles that were there and holes to fill. So they elected just to leave those on. 
These are not original. Originally, there's a little finger pull underneath here you grab. So these are added. Um, I didn't show any of their drawer repairs. Uh, I did add some strips to the sides to level out the sides um, and had to uh, sand the sides down a little bit to get it to fit in the uh, case. Um, I also had to replace all the drawer runners inside that the drawers ride on. And as you recall, I uh, replaced the panel on the side here. It came out great. And had to do a little bit of color matching uh, with some of the veneer and the panels. And uh, absolutely came out stunning.